Hey, Master of the Speed, it's Terra Master. Welcome to Cobra Hope Deck Profiles, and welcome to Battle City. We're gonna be in Battle City forever. Drake, would you like to talk about Battle City? Yeah, it's it's just the perfect name, so I had to design a deck around it. Uh, Battle City is a Roids deck using the Roid Field Spell skill, which is called um, Small Roid Big City city and we also have battle survivor the survivor part of the name the survivor part of the name <laughs> this is now called city survivor um <laughs> <laughs> city Sur that's actually also good okay yeah that's cool that's like reminds me of sonic or something yeah but um ba battle survivor here just has a ton of synergy with the what the roids are already doing which is um Drillroid control, you have um, Book of Moons, Sphere Karibos, and even Wabakus in your battle phase, or your opponent's battle phase. And or your one of offerings. Offer, or your one of offerings. You do have the one of offerings as well. Battle Survivor can bring back any of these cards. So it's just added value to the deck. Um, it plays a lot like just a Drillroid control deck otherwise. Um, as you saw, we did get to summon a Necroid Shaman. Yes. It's actually a very good card. Yeah. Uh, is it hard to set up the machines? Yeah, a little bit, but the field spell does help with that. Yeah. And for the sideboard, you have more cards that are not only good against the meta, but also work with Battle Survivor. You can activate any of those in the battle phase. Yep. So yeah, it's 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 cute. It's the Roids deck from before. But you add in the new card, Battle Survivor. So I, I know so far, Cooper Hope, we've been doing a lot of like pure new decks, right? It's had like new cards worthy focus. But I think it's also important to show off uh, kind of like what old decks have, you know, some kind yeah, what of they synergy. Gained. Yeah. Right, what they gained from this set. Right, what they gained from this set. So I think Roid's Roy's got Battle Survivor. Yeah, Roid's got Battle Survivor. Battle Survivor is something a lot of decks got. So True. Yeah, you might see it again. But now going to the new, more interesting but also less good <laughs> deck. We've got uh we got malicious fiend dot deck here. Um I I just wanted to play Annihilator Archfiend. I, I think if you use a better um like fiend lineup you could probably make this better obviously but uh i did want to try out the annihilator and you know it was like semi cool when it actually came up yeah so that that's all right um i will say jinzo seems to be really really good um this format so like if i were to build this deck like right now I would probably main deck the Jinzo. Um, and any yeah, deck that has the ability to tribute summon. Yeah. I think most decks are on a lot of traps. Yep. With the exception of like Cyber Angels and maybe Dark Gaia. Yeah, exactly. So like, except for like the pure OTK decks, you know. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of traps around. So Jinzo, I think it's like the best it's been in a while. Yeah. So that's... Probably the limit one in most, like, any deck that you're going aggressive in and you're thinking Zoma and Jinzo, Zinjo is a very strong consideration now than it was before. But uh, enough talk about just the meta. I got into a rant. Um, <laughs> no, so this deck is you play the evil hero combo um, to summon Malicious Head sometimes, right? The Dasher also combos with the Prodigy. And uh, if it's in the graveyard, that's how you kind of can sometimes just drop an Annihilator or an Edge and draw face, which is pretty cool. But at the end of the day, you're using your three fusion spells, one of which is searchable because you're playing Dark Unity as your skill card. And you're summoning Malicious Fiend uh, up to three times per game. And uh, yeah, you saw if it doesn't get Sphere Karibo, it's pretty good. But uh, if it does, then well, it just dies to Droroid. So unfortunately, it's not sticky. It's just big, but sometimes just big is enough. So, you know, if you can build a better version of this deck, if you can summon Jinzo with Malicious Fiend, you saw that was the one time in the matches that I actually had a really good chance to win the game, right? So 
it kind of goes to show you that Malicious Fiend just needs like some help for somebody to stop traps or something like that. And uh, Jinzo is the perfect partner for that. So again, probably main deck Jinzo to make this deck better. And uh, there's other improvements you can make too. So yeah. You could play Gaps instead of the Annihilator Archfiend. Yeah, you could. That's true. Yeah, that, you that could definitely play Gaps. That protects you from Sphere, Book, and Floodgate. Yep, it does. That's a good one. Yeah, it does protect you from a lot of common back row that's going to be played now, right? People are even on Windstorm and Zero Gravity. So just like, yeah, nice... Uh, nice traps. Nice battle position changing traps. Sort of so. like an additional Jinzo. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like an additional Jinzo, but it's also a material for your fusion, which is cute. All right. That's a great idea. So yeah, no. Uh, put Gap in there. Put Jinzo in there. Uh, let us know what you think about these decks and what are your ideas to improve them. Uh, I don't want to make this too long of a video since like, you know, especially because this deck is nothing special. Uh, but obviously with Coper Hope, we're not done. We're going through everything. And um, for those of you who don't like evil heroes, I'm going to I'm gonna take a break from playing those. And uh, we're going to move on to play other things, including uh, potentially some things that may have been requested for in comments. So uh, if you asked for a specific deck in the comments of previous Cope or Hope videos, watch out for next week because uh, DJ is now taking requests. But until then... <laughs> Drake. Don't you have a question for me? Do I have a question? Oh my god. Ah, uh, Drake, <laughs> before we go, are these decks Cope or Hope? Okay, starting with this beautiful uh, thing. <laughs> this this nice, fantastic pile. Um, so the Annihilator Archfiend is cool. Uh, it's not reliable. Yeah, you should probably switch those out. This deck is Cope. It is not the uh, reliable Archfiend. If you're playing Dark Calling, you should probably be trying to make Dark Gaia, not any other fusion, honestly, at all. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you if you just pivot this deck like to a different fusion, it's got some fun ideas in it. Yep. That's, that's about it. All right, let's go back to Battle City, because everybody loves Battle City. Battle City. This deck is hope. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's it. We know Roids worked. We I, I knew this going into it. Uh, does it actually gain something from Battle Survivor? Yeah, maybe. However, you don't have to play the Roid skill. You can just play Joey. I chose not to for the video. It's more exciting if I play a Roid skill. Well, it's also um, a better name if you play the Roid skill. Very true. What do you? But what are you gonna yeah, name you know, the Joey deck? I'm just gonna survive. I, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad either. Wow, <laughs> this card makes great names. It does. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. If you if you like switch the skill to Joey and maybe cut the Steamroids first of all, you do not need those. No. Uh, and maybe even go down on Mixeroid. You might have a better deck there. Yeah, potentially go up on Droroid, but yeah. Like cut cut the others and go up on the drills, but I don't know. Sub, sub is actually a nice little alternate win condition. Yeah, sometimes it can be. You're right, but okay. All right, so yeah, one cope, one hope. What will we bring to you next week? Find out next week. Until then, <laughs> <laughs> Master and Drake, we're out.